What is up guys? Today we have a very special one, one that really means a lot to me and one that you guys are really, really gonna enjoy. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We are at none other than SOS Customs and if you guys have been keeping up with the rest of my social medias, you would know that we dropped the WRX off here probably about a month or a month and a half ago. To get probably what is the most requested change or I guess mod you could call it, done to the car and today is that day and I am very, very excited. No, Tim's gonna be excited about I'm this. This is excited. this is what me and Tim started with. So this is gonna be awesome. Look who it is. What up, bro? You taking it for a ride? Y yes. Yeah? Absolutely. Oh shit, <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we're gonna take a quick intermission in today's very exciting video to drive SOS's LS Turbo 240Z. I know everybody's gonna come in. Where's your 240Z? It's coming, all right, Tim? Tim, is it coming? Yeah, it's coming. We got a lot of work to do. We need to sit down. We're gonna probably show you the process. They have no idea what, what, we're, yeah, what we're doing. there's a lot of things you need to do to get a car like that right. Just, so. just, I promise you, all of the questions will be answered. Guys, we'll get an update soon, but I'm nervous. All right, well, I guess I'm really doing this. Oh my God. God, dude, this is terrifying. I'm so scared. Should I take a left or a right? Make a right. Smells like 85, dude. to start the morning. <laughs> Almost breaking oh, Oscar's yeah, ribs in the car. It. Holy crap. Okay, I have, I have not seen the car since it's been here. I haven't seen any updates, anything. I wanted Oscar to surprise me. Wanna give us a little rundown of what we did here, so, Oscar? Uh, obviously you saw how this thing came in. Yeah. You guys remember. What we did is we pretty much recreated that uh, front end front end extension. So that way it kind of flows with that. Mm -hmm. And we added a couple goodies. So if you guys wanna stand back, I'm gonna pull this thing out and we'll check it out. Let's right do now. it. Oh man. <laughs> like this is gonna be my new daily driver. I haven't driven this car in Forever, yeah, it's forever. Fun. I got this car in 2014. It still only has 38,000 miles on it. So this is gonna be my new daily driver. We did a couple of extras besides just the front wide body. So I'm super excited to see that. Like Oscar said, he's gonna pull it around. Ready, Tim? I'm super ready for this. You're getting the first look here. I don't want to see it till he pulls forward. Oh what? Does it look good? <laughs> Dude, it looks so good. Oh man. Okay, I'm not looking till he pulls forward. I'm not looking till it pulls forward. The front matches up good. It's like perfect. Oh my god. The anticipation. Take a little peek. Woo! Oh my god, here we go. First look everybody, here's the new WRX front wide body. Oh Tim, dude, it looks so good. Oh, look at this carbon. Even more carbon down here, and look at the front wide body piece how it flows with the front bumper all the way down up. To, it looks perfect. Oh my god. God, Oscar, give me a hug. I am so happy, dude. It looks so. I've got your, your rivers. <laughs> yes! It, this is what we have all been waiting for. Oh my god. I will be giving you guys a full walk around as soon as we get to the shop. We have a couple of things to do on the R32. And I, of course, I wanna show you guys more in depth on how awesome this bumper looks. And I, I'm just like so happy to have this car back that I can drive every single day now. So 
let's go head back to the shop. And I honestly forgot that I had this awesome steering wheel too. This thing is so nice. Such a good deal. We have made it to the shop and I want to give you a full walk around of the WRX as it sits right now because I am beyond hyped on it. I cannot express how much I love the front end of this car now. SOS did a phenomenal job not only with the custom piece but with the color matching as well and all the color blending. You guys cannot even tell that the front end has been painted because they did re repaint the entire front end. They blended it into the hood and all the fenders so it just looks so much better. But I want to give you guys a closer look right here at the new wide body piece. I like it because it's not overly loud. The reason why I, why I didn't have anything on the front bumper is because I didn't want it to take away from the Varus kit. So that was what I was really worried about with making a custom piece. But SOS did such a good job at not taking anything away from how aggressive the front Varus kit is. And it just matches so perfectly. Like, even goes all the way down the bumper. And if you guys look back here, all of this is closed off. So there's no like open vents or open holes or anything like that. And we also added in carbon fiber just to like tie in the entire car. So we have carbon fiber vents right here. And they even did carbon fiber vent on the fender piece as well. So it just looks really, really nice. Now that the front end is complete, I am so happy, but we're not actually done with the car. This is gonna be my daily driver and I'm super stoked to be driving the WRX again. So a couple of things that I do want are, I do want some new headlights. I'm gonna be looking for the Misubi Speed headlights. I really like the design of those and these just need to be replaced. The cutoff in these headlights is just really, really bad. So I definitely want a new set of headlights as well as I think I'm gonna get rid of the APR performance wing and I actually want to do a carbon fiber duckbill trunk. So if anybody in Southern California is selling a carbon fiber duckbill trunk for the 2015 and up WRX or STI, let me know because I will buy it off you. I really do want one. But then other than that, I think we're pretty content with the car. I just want to drive it around everywhere now. I am so, so happy. Now, I did tell you guys that we had some GTR mods to do, but unfortunately, those GTR mods can't be done today because we got new fans for the radiator, and when you buy fans, it's supposed to come with hardware so that you're able to mount it on the radiator. Fans didn't come with hardware, of course. So now we have the fans, no hardware. We're gonna go ahead and order that. I guess I'll just make a giant video of us doing a bunch of miscellaneous stuff with the engine bay because it's all just like the really small things that's like annoying to do, but it has to get done. So no GTR mods. So we are gonna drive the WRX around and just have some fun with the car. Do a little shoot with it, because I haven't shot in so long. Now that the WRX is back, it gives me an excuse to go out and shoot. The WRX has made it home. It's now all tucked away, along with the S2000, because we did get it ready for a track day. You guys are gonna see that really soon, and I'm very excited for it. I'm super happy the WRX is now back home at its permanent home. I've been driving this thing around for a few days, and I've just been having so much fun with it, and I wanna give you guys just a little bit better of a look. The front end of the WRX is by far my favorite. It just looks so mean and aggressive up here. The wide body. Just sets it off nice. So, before we end, a lot of you guys have been enjoying the like collection series that I've been adding to the end of the vlogs. A lot of you have given me the suggestion to check out Frank and Sons, which is, if you don't know, if you don't live in California, is a huge like collectibles trade show, I think is the correct term. Me and Tim went and we had an amazing time. It was so worth the two and a half hour wait. I filmed a little bit of our experience because it was so amazing. So I'm gonna throw it into the end of this vlog and show you guys what we picked up. But I hope you guys enjoyed the WRX front wide body piece being finished. I am so happy. And like I said, we do have a few other things along the car that we want to get done. So the build series on the WRX is not done. We're gonna keep improving it and making it better and better. And just a more, like a better daily driver car, more enjoyable car drive every day. Cause this thing is freaking sweet. And I'm so happy to have it back, especially at the house now. So with all of that being said, one last look at the front wide body. It's so good. All right. Let's get into the Frankenstein's vlog. Oh, man. Ooh. 
That's just a good stock Evo 9. Currently, right now, we have been in line for about two hours, but we are almost to the very end. We have our friend Case here. He's going to be our, our Pokemon expert for the day. Isn't that right, Case? I know. What's up? You're going to be our Pokemon expert for oh, today? Oh, yeah. You, what, what's your uh, your card business called? Uh, it's called Joe Case Collectibles. Nice. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll leave his Instagram handle on the screen. But he's going to help me out today on figuring out what a good buy is. And we're going to look for some other stuff, too. I think I want to look for some alien collectibles, Godzilla, of course, and a couple other things. So we're gonna check out Frankenstein's. This two hour wait better have been worth it because this is your guys' fault. So <laughs> we're gonna take you guys along and see what we find. Oh my God. We are next in line, boys. Here we go. Two and a half hours in the making. Here we go. Oh my God. We made it. Oh my God. It is literally, it's a Sam's Club for toys. This is incredible. accomplished but just for reference there is still the same amount of line as there was when me and Tim first got here holy crap crazy all right guys so I want to show you our Frank and Sons pickup here because I am super excited now as you guys saw I was looking for like alien Godzilla Pokemon and Halo figures and we pretty much got everything. I surprisingly didn't really find anything from Godzilla. I'm sure I didn't see all of the boots in there, so I do want to go back and look again, but I want to show you guys the pickup really, really quickly. Number one, we got the Alien figures. Now, Alien is probably one of my favorite movie franchises. I have every single movie, especially like the new ones and stuff, so I wanted to get kind of the old school Alien figures here. Um, so this is going to go in the collector's shelf. Oh, this is super cool. Just alien head and an actual figure and then uh, as you guys can see I went pretty crazy on the on the Pokemon stuff here because I actually want to pull a Charizard so we got three elite trainer boxes tons of booster boxes and the pin collection so uh, I'm actually gonna be doing a I'm actually gonna be doing a live unboxing on my twitch channel so if you guys are interested in that and want to see me like unpackage all the Pokemon cards and see what I pull you can be sure to follow my twitch channel I'll, I'll leave it down in the description box below as but last but not least what we what we got from the Frankenstein's is this halo play arts action figure I've actually been looking for this since I was in high school check this thing out super Super sick. So I remember this came out uh, a long, long time ago and they sold out like instantly. Even a new Halo Infinite one came out and sold out instantly. So I'm super happy that I got I got the old school Mark V Master Chief from the Play Arts. So I want to show you guys the pickup and that is everything. About your toys that everyone? Yep. What do you think? You would think that we have an eight-year-old boy. <laughs> <laughs> you might have an eight-year-old boy, but that is going to be it for the video. I'm super excited on all of this stuff and I'll show you guys. Once I update the uh, my collect, my things shelf, I'll show you guys where I place everything. But I'm stoked to open this up and like I said, if you guys want to see the opening up, be sure to follow the Twitch. But that is going to be all for today's video. WX is finished. We got lots of cool things. So I'm very, very excited. If you guys haven't already, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Tiana's just doing more house things, so I'm sure we're gonna have a fat house update pretty soon. I'll see all of you guys in the next one. Peace out.